Hello students, welcome to Sonosa's classes. In this video, I will be solving a question from ISS 2016, paper 3. Now, here we have to explain the identification problem in a system of simultaneous equation. And then we have to state the rank and order conditions for identifiability of the equations. Now, first, what is the identification problem of simultaneous situation? Now, what happens is that in simultaneous equation system, we have two or more equations. So, in this simultaneous equation system, simultaneous equation system, here we have two or more equations. And in these equations, a variable explained in one equation can appear or appears as an explanatory variable in another. So here, a variable explained in one equation, one equation, they appear they appear as so the variables that are explained in one equation they appear they appears as explanatory explanatory variable variable in another equation another equation so for example if we have two equations the first one is y is equals to x1 plus x2 and the next equation is z is equals to y plus x1 so here we can see that the explained variable y in the first equation it is appearing as the explanatory variable in the next equation so this creates an identification problem in the system of simultaneous equation. Now, in the rank condition of identification, here the equations are identified using the rank conditions. So, here equations are identified. Equations. So, here the equations are identified with respect to. So, equations are identified. with the rank conditions rank conditions so what happens is that that in rank condition of identification now this is both necessary and sufficient condition so it is both necessary and sufficient sufficient condition so if the equations are identified with using the rank conditions then we can be sure that the equations really is identified now this rank conditions what they do is they investigate whether two or more equations are linearly dependent on each other or not so they investigate investigate whether two or more equations that we have so whether the equations they are linearly dependent on each other or not linearly dependent dependent on each other or not so so suppose we have three equations say equation one equation 2 and equation 3 in which the equation 3 is a sum of equation 1 and 2 so in this situation it is impossible to identify all the structural parameters so in situations like this it is impossible to identify all structural parameter so 
The first one that is the rank condition for identification. Here the equations are identified with respect to the rank conditions. Now the next one that is the order condition for identification. Here the decision rule for identification is the order conditions. Order conditions. Now this rule it is a this is a necessary condition so it is not sufficient but only necessary condition necessary condition but this rule that is the order condition of identification this rule is more popular than the rank condition of identification so this rule it is more popular more popular though it only is the necessary condition and not the sufficient condition so it is possible that the equation is un undefined even though the order condition says that it is identified that is if the equations are identified then it must have this condition but it is possible that the equation has this condition but still it is undefined so it is a necessary condition however when there are only two equations so in a condition when we have only two equations then in that situation this order condition for identification works well and can be trusted so this is a necessary condition though it works well when there is only when there are only two equations and if we compare the popularity of both the conditions that is rank condition and order condition then order condition is more popular now here if we define a variable m which is equals to the number of endogenous variables number of endogenous variables so m is the number of endogenous variables endogenous variables that is the number of dependent variables endogenous variable that is the number of dependent variable and suppose k is another variable which denote the number of variables both endogenous and exogenous in the model that are excluded from the equation under consideration so they are the number of variables so it includes both endogenous and exogenous vari variables so the number of variables in the model that are excluded that are excluded from the equation from the equation under consideration so if k is the number of variables in the model that are excluded from the equation or from the system of equation under consideration then the order condition this order condition states that if our k so if our k it is equals to m minus 1 so if our k is equals to m minus 1 then the equation is exactly identified so then it is exactly identified next is if our k it is greater than so if our k it is greater than m minus 1 so if our k is greater than m minus 1 then our equation is over identified so then it is over identified and if our k it is less than m minus 1 then the equation is under identified so when our k that is the number of endogenous variable it is equals to m minus 1 where where our k where the k is the number of variables in the model that are excluded from the equation under consideration so if our k is equals to m minus 1 where this m it is the number of endogenous variables then our equations 
that is a set of equations they are exactly identified now if our k it is greater than m minus 1 then it is over identified and if our k is less than m minus 1 then the equation is under identified now this checking of order condition this we have to do for the each equations in the system so suppose there are five equations in the system then we have to check this order condition for each of those five equations so for each of those five equations we will have to check whether our k it is greater than equals to or less than our m minus 1 so these are the rank and order conditions for identifiability of the equation.